Let's look at question 5c from the National 5 2015 physics paper. It says the optical density of a gemstone is a measure of its ability to refract light. So let's just highlight that. First of all, optical density is a word that we haven't come across. In a previous video, I've called it refractive index. Um, it's the same idea, uh, something that you would learn about at higher physics. Um, gemstones of higher optical density cause more refraction. Or another way of saying that is that they cause the light to slow down um, greater. A ray of light is directed into a gemstone with an angle of, an, of incidence of 45 degrees and the angle of refraction is then measured. This is repeated for different gemstones. And so we have a table with five different gemstones and their angles of refraction um, based on an angle of incidence of um, 45 degrees. Um, and you can see that the angle of refraction is different for every one, which means that the optical density is different for every gemstone. And it says that diamond is known to have the highest um, optical density. Identify which gemstone is most likely to be diamond. Well, if it has the highest optical density, that means that it bends the most. It's the ability to refract light, so it slows down the most and it bends the most. So that means it's either going to be the biggest number or the smallest number. So let's just go back up and uh, have a look at the um, rest of the, uh, at the diagram. Um, when light enters glass or diamond, it bends toward the normal. The more it bends, the smaller this angle in here becomes. Remember that this angle here is the refracted um, angle. And so that's the angle that we're looking for. And if it bends the most, that means that R is really small. So we can go back down and uh, have a look at the um, rest of the table again. And we can think of the one that's got the smallest one is um, this one right here, uh, 17 degrees. And so therefore, um, B is the gemstone, which is most likely to be diamond because it's got the um, smallest angle of refraction, i.e. it bends toward the normal the most. It can be a little bit confusing because the angle is the smallest and it bends the most, but you have to bear in mind that that angle is measured from the normal line.